Okay, let's learn about the lateral area and total area of a cylinder. So here we have a cylinder. Now a cylinder is made up of, well, it's a circle. You have a circle on the top, you have a circle on the bottom, and then you have the side. The side. Now the side, if we, if we take the cylinder in 3D and we open it up into 2D, well, here's the circle. That was, that's, that makes up the top over here, this circle. And then we have the bottom circle, this bottom, this over here. And then we have this rectangle over here. This rectangle wraps around the top and the bottom to make the cylinder. So this is just a rectangle. So this part is called the lateral area. This area here is the lateral area, which is this area. It turns into a rectangle. So how do we find the total area or the area of all of these shapes? Well, circle, we know the area of a circle, just pi r squared. We did that last time. And the bottom is the same. There are two identical circles, congruent circles. And how do we find the area of this rectangle? Well, notice that this, this is just a rectangle. And the height, or the length, or the width, whatever you want to call it, is the height of the cylinder. So this height over here, this height is this height over here. So we just need to know this length. If we know this length times the height, and we get the lateral area of the cylinder. Now think about it. This circle fits around here right it fits it should fit exactly so this is the circumference so this length is actually the circumference of a circle and do you remember the circumference of a circle is just is just 2 pi r let's show you a little animation to show you how the circumference fits exactly on this length here so here's a little animation. Now try, keep your eye on the, the, this, this point. It's going around and it, it'll go around. Now watch what happens if I trace the point when it reaches the end now. And you see it will trace the same distance, the same distance. By the time it gets, it goes around the circle, it'll finish the length. Let's try it again. Yeah. And then you'll see that it's the same distance. Once the point goes all the way around, the, so the circumference is equal to the length. And there you see it again. So let's go back. So the circumference times the height would give you the lateral area. So that's it. So that's the formula. It's the circumference times the height, which is circumference is just 2 pi r. 2 pi r times the height. And we don't have to put the little multiplication symbol. So 2 pi r h. So you multiply those four things, and that's your lateral area. So what will be the total area? Well, for the total area, it's basically we have to add the two circles. The lateral area plus the area of the circle on top, and the area of the circle at the bottom. So the lateral area is just 2 pi r times h. That's circumference times the height. And pi r squared for the bottom. Pi r squared for the top and the bottom. And... Well, pi r squared plus pi r squared, these are like terms. I can just add them up. So it's going to be 2 pi r h lateral plus 2 pi r squared. And that's the total area of the cylinder. Now let's try an example. So let's try this example right here. So here we have a cylinder. Let's make the radius 8 and the height 12. What is going to be the lateral area? Well, we just use a formula, circumference times height. Now, if we know the radius, the circumference is just 2 pi r times the height, which is 12. So now, just plug in all the numbers. Plug in all the numbers. So 2 times pi times radius times the height. So 2 pi r, that's the circumference, times the height. Centimeters times centimeters gives you centimeters squared. Area is square units. So multiply all this out, 603.19 centimeters squared. Now we have to find the area of the top and the bottom. Let's start with the top. So it's a circle. Area of the circle is pi r squared. So pi times r times r. r is 8 centimeters. So let's plug it in. Pi 3.14 times 8 times 8. So exponents first. So 64 times pi gives you 201.06. Now for the total area, remember that it's the lateral plus two of these circles. One on the top, one on the bottom. So it's going to be 603.19, that's the lateral, plus two circles. One for the top, one for the bottom. So I have to double this. So 609.13 plus 402 
gives you 1,000 uh, 1,005.51 centimeters squared.